What's up you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today we are going to be taking a look at one of the figures I picked up from Tucson Comic Con. And that is the Bandai Movie Monster Series Anime Godzilla, Godzilla Earth, whatever you want to call him. Um, I finally picked up one of these guys just mainly because... He was a Godzilla design that, of course, I didn't have in my collection yet. And, uh, of course, now that he is in a Bandai format, I can line him up, for those of you that remember my collection, my full collection videos and everything like that, that I had the uh, 50th Memorial Box, uh, all the Godzillas that were in that set, I pretty much had them lined up in a row on a shelf. And then, of course, this guy will be added to that lineup because, again, he's another version and design of Godzilla. So, he will pretty much be completing that lineup. Anyway, uh, just to get right on into this uh, review, my thoughts on the Godzilla anime. Eh, I mean, the first episode was interesting. I liked the story. But after that, it was kind of boring. The second episode, kind of boring. The third episode... A lot of people aren't looking forward to it, really. Even I'm not looking forward to it that much. Really don't know what the heck they're doing with Ghidorah. Looks pretty weird and really different. So we'll see. You know, we shouldn't always be afraid of different. But so far with the anime, with the anime different has not been good. Let's just put it that way. And uh, not too keen on this Godzilla's design. You know, I got the figure, but... Uh, does that mean I like it a lot necessarily? Not really. Um, to me, it really still does scream uh, Godzilla 2014. But uh, I know that's probably because, you know, Toho had to do something kind of similar with the 2014 design because of rights and stuff like that. So, but uh, overall, I mean, I thought that getting this one just because of the blue atomic uh, fin paint job was better than just the one that's all the plain kind of one dark color like you see on the head and of course that one has a closed mouth I think the open mouth uh, looks a lot better in my opinion but um, just to get straight on into it uh, for all you tag cringers who keep the tags attached to your figures be prepared to cringe because I don't like the tags on my figures so it's gone. It's removed. And I just push the excess right back in. Does not bother me whatsoever. Now, of course, I keep the tags, but I just don't like them attached to the figures. But just take a look at the tag really quick. You got a picture of Mechagodzilla wreckage there. Open it up. Bunch of legal jargon, Japanese. Silhouette picture of Godzilla Earth. That's what I'm going to call this guy because it's better than just anime Godzilla. Nice little picture there of, you know, his back spines and all that stuff. Yeah, I paid 30 bucks for it. Might have been a little bit more expensive than I wanted, but I just decided why not just pick one up finally. Because the, little, the longer you wait, the higher in price these guys will get. Because that's what happens with all Godzilla stuff. So I'd rather pay 30 now than 40 or 50 or 60. So on and so forth. Anyway, uh... It's still not a bad figure, you know, even though I'm not keen on the design. Uh, it's not a bad figure. I mean, there's lots of detail in the skin and whatnot, but we'll just talk about paint apps first. Paint apps, he's a really kind of dark greenish blue all the way around pretty much for his dark areas. And in these lighter areas, it's kind of a silveryish blue, you know, metallic wise. Looks really nice, looks really well applied, you know, definitely makes him stand out a little bit more than instead of just being all one bland color. The blue on the back of his spines, a very nice kind of light blue metallic. Looks really nice for as far down as it goes there up until that point. But it looks good. I mean, again, that's the only reason I got this one versus the other one because I like the color on it, you know. The other one just looked too bland. And uh, just looked boring to me. So at least this guy has a little bit more to make him pop. And uh, it just looks good, you know. I, I do. I really like the Atomic, you know, fin version. Looks really nice. Despite what I might think about the anime and the design. 
decent figure. Uh, detail all the way around looks good. I mean, got all this crazy detail because Godzilla is more or less part of the planet in a way. I mean, all, or all the planet has become Godzilla. So in a way, he's kind of like a plant, which makes him kind of like a cross between Biollante again. Or Biollante being a cross between him. I don't know. It gets confusing. But uh, just all these different crevices and lines and everything just all over the place. He kind of has a little bit of abs going on here for as tubby as he looks. You know, he's kind of been trying to take care of his, take care of his crunches a little bit. But uh, overall, I mean, just has all this detailing all over his body. That looks really good, you know. It's different. Again, it's different. <clears throat> spines? They look like Godzilla's spines, you know. I mean, again, they're different, but you can tell, you know, even if these were sticking out of the water, uh, that's Godzilla. You know, you could tell that they're, God they're traditional Godzilla-looking spines, you know, all the way down tip of his tail and uh very nice curve you know on the tail it's not just kind of flat straight out it kind of has a little bit of a curve to it so nice there legs i don't know the legs look weird to me for as tubby and like fat as his body looks his legs almost look too lean but again nothing much we can do it is what it is this is the godzilla earth design so Nothing we can do about it. But that's just me. I mean, that's the only thing that throws this guy off, I want to say, are his legs. I mean, it looks all right, but at the same time, it looks weird. His arms, kind of, you know, I, he kind of has them in. I kind of wish they were extended out a little bit more, which I believe the other figure, that's all the one color. His arms are a little bit more extended out. But his arms are kind of crunched in a little bit just because... That's what he does when he goes to fire his atomic beam. His arms are kind of crunched in like this. So, but it still looks good. Again, I like the open mouth design. Uh, if there is anything I do like about Godzilla, I kind of like how they kind of gave him a, kind of like a beard. You know, to where he's like an old man. I kind of do like all the uh, edges down here. Edges and spikes that, again, make it look like he has a beard. That I like. Uh, all the little teeth kind of nicely etched in there, as you can see. Let's see if I, how close I can get them where my camera focuses. That's pretty good. Nose, nicely well done in there. Eyes, eyebrows, and stuff. Again, just really nice detailing. I mean, Bandai Japan really doesn't skimp out on detail or paint jobs. Their figures do look good for just being a, you know, basic six inch vinyl figure. But looks good all the way around. Nothing wrong with it. Articulation on this guy. I mean, you can move his arms. It just looks weird because of the way that they're crunched. So really, you kind of just want to keep them in a basic position. Otherwise, they do look weird. Legs, you know, kick back. Can kick forward, you know, all the way around. 360, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Tail even has a joint. You know, so however you want to go with it but really this guy just there's really not much you can do i mean if you're going to pose him he, he's just going to be in a basic pose like this nothing too crazy and then sizing him up i didn't grab any of my other bandai figures just because a lot of them are in storage right now and i only have a few here but after all these years we pretty much know basic bandai size six inches so he'll go with anything in that range he will size up well with. So anyway, you guys, that's my review on this guy. Hope it pretty much covered everything. Um, and uh, I guess we'll look forward to see what the uh, what the third installment is going to be when we get that on Netflix. So again, you know, difference not bad, but so far it hasn't been good. And uh, but nice figure, all in all. I'm kind of glad to have it in my collection and add it to the Bandai Godzilla lineup once I get that set up again. So anyway, you guys, like always, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Hope you enjoyed this review on the Bandai Earth Godzilla. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out Godzilla Fan Freaks on Facebook. 
and all that other jargon. You know, buy your stuff from awesomecollector.com, flossiesgifts.com. Uh, definitely check out the X Plus Collectors Group on Facebook if you haven't. The Godzilla Collectors Group on Facebook. The UK Kaiju Group on Facebook. So many different groups. So much stuff to do. Um, and uh, yeah. So anyway, you guys. Uh, next up is going to be the Super X2 model kit. And I will get a review of that out once I am done building it. I haven't quite started building it yet. So it might still be a little while before I get that out. But anyway, you guys, look forward to seeing you all there in that. And that's about it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching.